welcome to the max class in our last class we learned about after number before number between number and missing numbers also so you all understood what is after number before number between and all and did you practice all those works that ma'am gave you yes so today ma'am is here to teach you a new concept biggest and smallest okay so let's look at some of the examples with the help of some objects okay yes let's find out which is the biggest ball in the first group yes the second ball is the biggest ball now let's find out which is the biggest hat yes the third one is the biggest hat now let's find out the biggest book Yeah, the first one is the biggest book. Now, let's find out the biggest fan. Yes, the third one is the biggest fan. Let's find out the smallest object in the first group. The starfish is the smallest object in the first group. What about the second group? Which is the smallest object? Yes, the glass is the smallest one. Let's find out the smallest fruit in each group. Which is the smallest banana? Yeah, the circled one is the smallest banana. Now, what about the strawberry? Yeah, the first one is the smallest strawberry. What about the orange? Yes, the last one is the smallest orange. What about the pear? Yes, the second one. Let's find out the biggest flower in this group. Yes, this is the biggest flower. Now you all have understood what is the biggest object and what is the smallest object. Now, let's find out biggest number and the smallest number by counting practice of the objects. Okay? Let's do. Let's count and find out which group has got more objects 1 2 what about the other group 1 2 3 4 5 so this group has got more and we'll circle that group now let's count the balls 1 2 3 4 5 what about the other group 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so we'll circle the second group. Now let's count the bicycles. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's count the other group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this group is having more bicycles and we'll circle that. Let's count the cars. 1, 2. What about the second group? 1, 2, 3, 4. So this group is having more cars and we'll circle that. Let's find out the less in number of fruits in each group. Let's count the apples and bananas in the first group. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. So bananas are less and we'll circle the bananas. Now let's count the apples and bananas in the second group. 1, 2, 3. And the bananas 1, 2, 3, 4. So, apples are less and we circle the apples. Now, let's count the apples and bananas in the third group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, the apples. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, apples are less and we circle the apples. Now, it's time for a small game. I have seven houses with numbers here. Each house has got two numbers. Okay? So, we are going to play a game with the help of these houses. And you have to tell me the biggest and smallest number in each house. Are you ready? Yes. Let's find out which number is big and which number is small in this house. Tell me which number is the biggest one. Which is the biggest number in this house? Tell me. Yes. 6 is the biggest number in this house. What about 1? 
1 is the smallest number compared to 6. Now let's compare these two numbers. Okay. We have 9 here and we have got 6 here. When we compare these two numbers, which is the biggest number? Which is the biggest number? Yes, 9 is the biggest number and 6 is compared to 9, 6 is the smallest number. Now, let's compare these two numbers. Which is the biggest number? Yes, 10 is the biggest number and 5 compared to 10, 5 is the smallest number. Now, let's look these two numbers, 8 and 3. Which is the smallest number? Yeah, 3 is the smallest number and 8 is the biggest number. Now, 4 and 7. Which is the smallest number? Yes, 4 is the smallest number and 7 is the biggest number. Now, 3 and 6. Which is the biggest number? Yeah, 6 is the biggest number and 3 is the smallest number. Now, what about 4 and 2? Which is the smallest number? Yeah, 2 is the smallest number and 4 is the biggest number. Now you all have understood what is the biggest number and what is the smallest number. Now, let's find out what all are the works that you have to complete on biggest number and smallest number for this week. Okay? These are the worksheets in page number 100, 101, 102 and 103 in your course book that you have to complete for this week. I hope you all have understood the concept of biggest number and smallest number. So, by next class, you all have to complete the work that ma'am gave you. Okay? So, it's time to wind up today's class. See you all in the next class. Take care and bye.